All right, so welcome back, guys, or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Vision here with Blind Entertainment, bringing you guys in our video. Today, I'm going to be talking about some news we got regarding Warren Cohan and her possibly returning to Season 10 of The, of the Walking Dead. So if The Walking Dead is something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That would miss more Walking Dead content from me moving forward. Now, let's begin. So it was announced over the weekend that Warren Cohan's new show, Whiskey Cavalier, has been canceled by ABC after one season. If you're my honest opinion, I'm not surprised. I watched the first couple episodes and God, it was not that good. I'm glad it got canceled. Now, hopefully we can maybe get her back to The Walking Dead. And there is some possibilities that she might not come back, but I think she could. It all depends basically on whether or not Kang has written around or planned out an idea of how she could come back. We know that they started pr filming episode one already. Kang could maybe already be working in on this. Uh, had a plan to bring Maggie back. We don't know. We don't know what was going on behind the scenes between the two of them. It also depends on Warren Cohan. It also depends on what her agents want her to do. Because she just came off of this show. Granted, it did tank. It was st it, She still was the lead role in this new show. Now, when War Corey Hawkins, who played Heath, left the show and went to 24... Yes, that show tanked as well, but in doing so, he also had to sign, I think it was like the ACC or something like that, I forget what it's actually called, but it's for a bunch of actors when they make it into like these big main shows and take on lead roles, they sign this thing and become a member of this thing, I think it's called the ACC, and where they can only take or join shows where they're the main lead cast member. So, depending on what what's going on behind the scenes of Warren Cohan, she her agents could have made her sign that. Granted, she look. I know people say, "Oh, she can do whatever she wants." Her agents are going to tell her what to do. What's what they believe is best for her career and what's best for her, but what makes them money. So, if they ended up having her sign that, that could cause a huge monkey wrench for Warren Cohan to return. Because don't forget, we got Daryl as our lead character. Now, granted, The Walking Dead has turned into an ensemble cast where it's got three leads right now in regards to Daryl, Carol, and Michonne. Granted, we're lo losing Michonne in Season 10, which frees up one of the three spaces which they could give to Maggie. That's a possibility there that they could do. However, since she just came off the show where she was the lead, they might say, no, 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 no. We don't want, you're not going there unless you're higher up than Daryl. Which won't be happening in my opinion. She'll probably get second billing. Which they might settle on. But it could. This could cause some issues for Warren Cohan returning. That all depends on what her agents want her to do. What she wants to do. We know there was a lot of big issues regarding money. If AMC finally gets their stuff together. And get, pays her what they believe that she deserves. Or what she de believes she deserves. Look if. AMC is cutting her loose and not giving her what she deserves, then yes, they deserve, she deserves to be brought back on and given what she deserves. However, if this is Warren Cohan just saying, I've given my wife to the show for what, nine years or whatever, and you're not going to give me, I believe, I personally believe, this is her saying this, that she personally believes that she deserves more money, yet she doesn't need it, or, or she's not going to be getting it, then she needs to kind of get her stuff together and say, okay, look, I, I, I get it. I don't deserve this amount of money, but I'll come back. It depends on what she wants to do. The, the, when it comes to money, it all depends. And I know people will say, but she loves her fan base. She's, she, she wouldn't do that to the fans. Look, I think we all live in this world where we believe like that the actors like do all this for the fans. They, they like love us fans. Look, to an extent, that is true. true. To an extent, they do do this all for us. But they also have to... You got to think about this as another way. This isn't the comics. These people have lives. These people have families outside of The Walking Dead. Not Half these people have been devoted their like nine years to this show. And I think if they don't want to be here all the time, it's it, we don't have a right to demand that they stay. I know people are pissed when Frank Delane left Fear. That's his choice. He's a person. He can do whatever he wants. Granted, we might not like it, but it's his life. He can do whatever he wants. And that's like saying we that we should stay at our crummy job that we don't like just because, you know, we chose it. No, we chose that job. They chose this. If they don't want to do it anymore, that's their right. They have a right to leave when they want to leave. 
And that goes for Rick. That goes for anybody else who left the show. And look, do I want to see Maggie back on the show? Warren Cohan play her? Yes. Don't recast Maggie. I swear to God, if they recast Maggie... I think for me, at least, because I just don't... I hate recasting in general. I think recasting is just the dumbest thing. We we spent nine years with this one actress who plays this character. Then you're going to go and recast her. I think for me, that would be the straw that breaks the camel's back for The Walking Dead. Recasting any character, that's the, that would be it for me. Because that would just frustrate me to no extent. This actress gave her nine years to this character... And you're just going to push her aside and recast someone else to play this character? No. First off, that's disrespectful to the actress who put in the years to play this role. And two, that's disrespectful to the fan base who supported this actress in this role for these years. I don't think in any circumstances they should ever recast anybody if they've been on the show for this long. If they did like a one-shot cameo for like the five seconds that they were on the show in the finale, like the 100 did with Maddie, that's okay. Because we only saw that character for like, what, two seconds? And then they recast her in for the entirety of the show. That was fine because we only saw her for maybe two seconds on at in the finale of season four or five, I think it was, four to 100. We just saw her for that five seconds in season four finale, and then they recast her, which I didn't care about, cause like, I you don't pay attention. When I first heard it, I was like, that's stupid. But when you get when you think about it, that was only two minutes. If they had done that for a character that was on here for two minutes, then I wouldn't care. But don't recast someone like Maggie after nine years of her being on this show. It's just not right. But moving back to what I said, we're, there's a potential she could come back. I'm sorry about that long ramble tangent for anybody who got annoyed by that. But uh, there, is, there is a possibility that Kang could write her back in. I do believe Kang has been behind the scenes working on like... They probably got a script A for the event that Maggie doesn't return. And they probably have plan B in the event that she does return. So I believe that she's got like this fail safe plan in the event that Ma- that Warren does return. But let's just remember this. It all depends on what Warren Cohan wants to do. If Warren Kilhan decides, I'm done with The Walking Dead, you guys didn't give me what I what I believe I deserved, you've been skimping me or whatever, or I want to just be a lead on, the sh- on my own shows from now on, that's her decision. If the show's good, I'm going to support her. Whiskey Cavalier, <laughs> while I thought it had potential, God, it was god-awful. I think I feel like ABC is trying to recreate what they had with with Castle and that stuff, but they're not doing it right. They've already failed with two shows with Take Two and now this. You can't re-replicate what a one show had. I feel like ABC needs to get their act together with their shows, sort of, and don't bring in Shonda Rhimes because Shonda Rhimes has her own stuff, and then Kane will just copy more stuff from her. But I feel I'm not surprised. I had a feeling Maggie would come back, or Warren Cohen would come back as Maggie. But it just depends, again. Depends on what the actress wants to do. But I'm going to end it here and give it to you guys. How do you feel? Are you optimistic that she will return at for season 10 and permanently on the show? Or do you think she'll remain off the show, maybe come back for a cameo or two here and there? And just do movies and other leads on TV shows. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I know we like to believe that she'll come back. She loves her fans. But it's not gonna, it doesn't always work like that. It doesn't always work like that. She might love her fans. But she's got her own life. If this is her career. If she wants to choose, I'm done with The Walking Dead. That's fine. In my opinion, we got, what, eight good years of Maggie on the show? Eight, seven and a half? That's good. Think about it. Seven and a half years of this character. That's a pretty good thing. As the saying goes, don't look to gift horse in the mouth. Or whatever whatever the saying is. Don't look to gift horse in the mouth. This is, We had a good run with Maggie if she doesn't return. We had a good run. Let's all remember that. So yeah guys, those are my quick thoughts and opinions regarding Warren Cohen possibly returning as Maggie Green. In Season 10 of The Walking Dead, as always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That way to miss some more Walking Dead content from me moving forward. This has been Vision here with Blind Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.